Good evening, good afternoon, or good morning, whichever suits you best. I'm back again. Um, just going to show you some of the things that I've been working on, and uh, I mean, I still have a lot, a lot of work left to do. But hopefully, here in about another, I'm, I'm saying probably about two weeks out before I'm ready to update. But um, but I do have some things fixed. Um, we'll go ahead. And and I also have made a couple of changes on some of my models but not not a lot of them basically I, I've changed my uh, ramp support models to um, match my new ramps uh, I haven't actually tried them out in game yet though so I don't think I, can help you I don't know exactly how they're gonna work but we're uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look sure, sure. How about it? Let's just go ahead and uh, it doesn't really matter. First, go to abs. Add a ramp here just so I can kind of. You know what? I got one more thing. I have one more of these guys. This is just to kind of show you what the purpose of the ramp supports are. So let's say you've got a ramp aiming down like that, and you'd really like to attach something to the bottom of your ship there. Well, you can't because there's a ramp there. So the whole purpose of the ramp supports, which are over here in the structural tab. If I can find them. There you go. So as you can see, I've changed the model to match my new ramps here. So we're going to go ahead and go to the short one. And I can put that there and it will basically just give you that nice flat bottom along with an attach point on the bottom and just makes those ramps have a solid look from top to bottom. That's all that's for. That's what the ramp supports are for. And these models, just uh, I've just changed the model, like I said, so that it would more or better match my existing ramp style. So uh, that's all that does. Um, you don't need to use them if you don't want to. They, I mean, they don't really serve any real purpose other than just to fill in that gap there and then give you an attach point on the bottom. So that's what they're used for. Um, I may eventually do a top ramp, uh, like a gap filler, um, which wouldn't really be that hard. It would basically just be flipping these upside down. But they, these, uh, that's how those work. That's easy enough. Anyways, and they do snap into place without any problems, so that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and uh, we're going to get rid of you. Let's get rid of you, because I want to check something here. Um, I think I have my MHABs fixed, so that they will... Um, snap into place now without any problems. Let's find out here, if I can find them. Should be able to snap into place without any. Yeah, good. All right, perfect. Now let's go ahead and grab an Ahab just to make sure that I can snap to the front of it. I should be able to. Yep, perfect. Okay, so that's fixed. Great. Um. Oh yeah, that's that was something else that I had to show was structural parts with. Uh, I know that the scaffolding. I had a. All of them were set up to have um, equipment point ports. Well, now only the one. Yeah, good. The equipment slots are gone. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Okay. So that's. Oh, you know what? I should probably check the flips too, just to be on the safe side. Yep. Good. 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 
and good okay and then I also had the um, I want to say it was this one of the flips wasn't having its equipment slot in the right spot but these should all be fixed yes good okay so all of that is good let's check this guy here good good I still need to remove the equipment attach points for the wide ones okay that's fairly easy enough and this one can probably keep the equipment attach point but it probably needs to be lifted up all right okay that's easy enough let's make sure that they're all all the same Yes, okay. Alright, so that's most of what I've gotten done so far. Now, there is uh, one other thing that I am working on. I am working on a rear um, version of the bar. I do not have it done yet. You'll see that it says aft bar. Um, that's literally just a placeholder. Um, there's going to be basically two versions of the bar. There's going to be one that's fore and one that's aft. Um, I still need to finish that. Um, I technically have the model done. I just haven't added it into the game yet. But that will also be on my next uh, release. Um, and then I also have done improvements on all of my staircases. And that includes the stairs in this big uh, section um, so they should be a lot easier to walk up and down now I still need to redo the nav mesh now that I've changed the staircases somewhat um, but it should eliminate a lot of that hitching and, and getting stuck halfway up on the stairs um, in fact we can we can even test that here we'll just... oh I gotta add a cockpit And just because we can, we'll, we'll do a big one. Hmm. That'll work. What do you mean I cannot? Oh, I know why you can't. It's a dummy. I didn't attach it to a hat. I bet it works now. Now, what is this unassigned weapon here? Huh. Which weapon is unassigned? Oh. There. Yeah, I don't know how the heck that happened. Alright, well, it's assigned now. Go ahead and get in here and go check out one of these staircases just to see if what I did actually fixed them or not. Um, and that includes my A halves and M halves as, as well as, as far as the staircase changes go. Yes, no hitching at all. Just walked right up, no problems. Perfect. Let's go ahead and uh, get around to one of my other. There you go, there's one facing a different direction. No problem whatsoever. Perfect. That's what we're looking for now. If I can only remember how to get to my big oh, that's not how it's farther up. Okay. Go farther up. Oh, that's not the right way to do that either. <laughs> Stairs back here, maybe. And maybe not. Oh dang, I'm getting lost in my ship and it's not even that big. What am I gonna do when I make one a hundred times as big? <laughs> I can't believe that I'm 
gotten myself lost, alright. That's uh not there either. Where the heck did I come in here? It's gotta be up over here, right? Yeah, so we can keep going up. <laughs> I wanna say it's gonna be this forward towards the back. Yes, perfect. Yep, look at that. No hitching. Perfect. Let's go ahead and make sure that there's no hitching going up this way. Well, there was a little bit of a... I don't think that was an actual hitch. I think that was just the frame rate skipping. Nope, I am still getting hitched. I'm just getting hitched on this one. Well, I will, uh, <clears throat> I will work on that. Try and figure out what's causing it on this one. I think I might know what it is. So that I should be able to have fixed still before my next release. So this is the try deck, so that'll be easy enough to fix. All right. So anyways, that's it for today. It's just a small video. Um, just kind of wanted to show you. Oh, actually that was something else I did want to show. So uh, I fixed for the last one, all the like um, flickering textures here in the battle stations. Um, the other thing that I worked on on this one was the flickering textures on the v halves, which that should be solved too. Let's see if we can't find... I, I was literally in one earlier and so forgot where it was at. Let's go ahead and... I think it was down the deck below here where I had the v halves. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was over here. Nope, that's a... That's another corner deck, isn't it? Yeah, that doesn't look really good. any good. Must be downstairs. Perfect, VFs. And I was getting complaints about flickering textures up here and down here in the corners. And they should be gone now. Yep, no more flickering textures. Everything looks good. And that's good. And I did the same change to all of my VFs, so... They, uh, they should all be fixed now, as far as that goes. Well, when I update, anyway, they will all be fixed. Technically, they're fixed in my game. They will be fixed in your game once I do my update. And, uh, yeah. So, we've got no more flickering textures. No gaps anywhere. Everything's looking good. Um, so, yeah. That's all going to be coming in the next update. Uh, like I said, I still have some work to do. My, I've gotten most of the snap point issues fixed, with the exception of the wide cowlings. I forgot to do those. Um, oh, you know what? There is one more thing that I need to check, and that is the nose cam. It just like changes on that. That should be fixed now too. Where are they? You know what? We're just going to do this the old-fashioned way. Let's just load my game. It'll be easier and quicker. That was the other thing that I definitely worked on. We can see hey, if it's what can I do for you? Okay. No see if it's actually fixed or not. All I want is the nose cannon. Weapons. I know I'm getting close. There it is. So this should snap right on on here without any problems. <clears throat> Snaps. No issues whatsoever. Let's make sure it snaps there. Make sure it 
sure it snaps to front of these guys. Yep, no problem, no problem. Beautiful. So, that should be solved now. And there was one other thing that I wanted to do with that that I completely forgot to check. And oh yeah, I wanted to double check on a vanilla half. Let's go ahead and grab a vanilla half. Do do do. Wherever they are, there's a demos that'll work. Doesn't really matter which one. Oh, uh, there. Let's grab you. Snaps just fine. Perfect. All right, so like I said, it's probably going to be about two weeks out. Um, most of the rest of my uh, work that I'm working on, um, besides finishing up the bar half, uh, the the aft version of the bar half, I should say, um, is working on improving performance on some of my modules. Um, I have done a little bit of improvements on the battle stations, but they're still, like, once they start getting any overlapping collision, there's still some performance issues on them. Um, I've also reduced my uh, engineering hab by a little bit, but it still has work to do, be done, so that's going to be my primary focus for... Uh, Oh, those are shells. I forgot about that mod. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's where my focus is going to be, is on performance improvements um, for the, at least the next couple of weeks. And then after that next update comes out, my next update after that, I'll be focused on getting more content added. Um, I think my next update after that is going to be focused on more varieties of weapons um primarily energy weapons because i feel like i've i've kind of neglected energy weapons so far um i've got a few options out there but and they aren't going to be like the weapon lifts they're just going to be standard weapons that you'll be able to mount to your ship and they'll be primarily direct fire focused weapons um, manual fire i should say so that will be a, uh, you know, that's still a couple weeks away before I start work on that next update, but I'll, I'll give you more details when I have more to share. Um, but anyways, that's it for today. I hope you guys have a great one, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.